We found a familiar face for the coverage and it's not just a random interview, it is another interview of a national champion because Max van Nijversel won the Belgian national championship this year. Congratulations. Thank you. And it's the first time you won the Belgian national. We had you before as a national champion and you won in uh, the Netherlands. Netherlands, yeah. Right. So, so what's the story there? Are you trying to collect all the national championship titles in all of Europe? No, that wasn't the idea. Uh, the reason I couldn't uh, join the my own uh, nationals that year was because of uh, work related issues so I joined the Netherlands then I actually joined the Netherlands the year before that as well for personal reasons um, managed to win the event in the end so and this year I could finally after three years finally <laughs> join my own Belgian nationals again <laughs> and managed to win it as well but if you have the choice next year you're gonna attend the Belgian nationals definitely definitely okay okay Thanks. okay personal pride, you know? Right. I, I get it, I get it, fine. Why would you like to conquer other countries when you can conquer your own country? Right. The only country I would like is uh, Luxembourg as well, <laughs> to hold all three uh, titles, but apparently Luxembourg doesn't have a national. They have one regional a year. They, they are working, they are working on it. They are working on it. All right, so um, how did you prepare for the Belgian nationals that you ended up winning undefeated? Uh, I was just playing the uh, same deck I played after YCS Bochum. Okay. Because I was playing tricks, uh, pure trick stars back then. And all the while up to the event, I was trust, uh, testing Mech Knight Invoked. And I was like, oh, this is fine, this is good, but it's not enough. And then it bubbled at Bochum and I was like, okay, I'm going to go all the side events, build myself Mech Knight Invoked, play them all, then won three winner mats uh, in a row. And I was like, yeah, I'll keep you're onto something. Yeah, I'll keep playing this, and then just kept playing it the entire yeah, season. Okay. So, are you gonna stick with the deck for this weekend? Sadly, no. Oh, oh well, I was completely expecting a yes here. So, what changed in between? Um, Sky Strikers is a thing, mm -hmm. and uh, actually, the biggest uh, thing that happened was the ban list, okay. because uh, my nationals was in the last format. So Draco and Pendulum were still a thing, uh, like a huge thing. Like uh, my nationals was right the week after uh, Spain was won by Draco. Mm -hmm. So like Mech Knight invoked was just always blind seconds. I guide you there, monster, Mech Knight, OTK. It didn't matter if, if it was Draco, if it was Pendulum, they made a field, I just went through it. Right. So it was real easy playing in that meta. But the problem with this meta is the amount of negation at the moment, and Trickstar is your worst matchup. Right. With, if the most played deck is your worst matchup, it's not going to go well. well we, we heard it before that some players say, I'm just going to play what I like to play, even if the expected worst matchup is going to happen very often. Yeah, well, I tried testing it, I tried building it, and only got more and more depressed. So <laughs> in the end, I just took Trickstar again because it was still a deck I liked. Yeah. I topped uh, Prague with this as well with Trickstar, so in the end it wasn't that hard of a choice to go back. But you, you do feel confident and, and well prepared for the event this weekend? No. 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 So what is your expectation then? This event can go a hundred different ways. It's, it, does, if, it matters what your opponent is playing. What you're, if you're playing against like Goki with the Trickstar Sky Striker, you just look at your hand and you can say, I might have a chance or I'm dead. It's either one of those two. It's not, I'm going to win this. One of the uh, pro tips we heard earlier was that you need to play Duel Links. So when your Goki player starts playing and you don't have the right cards, you can bring out Duel Links and have something to do in between. Yeah. I'm not gonna... You, you don't seem I, convinced. Okay, I get uh, it. I can, you can play Duel Links, but I don't like the meta that I read right now, because it's all for higher. Now you're just negative again. <laughs> all right. So um, it sounds like we're going to be in for a surprise, or at least you're going to be in for the surprise this weekend. It does sound from um, a coverage perspective like a good thing that the meta game is somewhat wide open and many, many things can happen that nobody expects, right? Yeah, but there's a lot of things that can happen outside of your range of control. Mm -hmm. And that's annoying to, to prepare for an event like that where everything just like Yu-Gi-Oh always has a luck factor but it's even more increased right now yeah. like if you have the outs if they have the outs like either one who opens draw on Lockbird 
It's basically more of a mind game than it has ever been before. Or at least in some ways. Uh, less of a mind game. Less, less of a mind it's game. It's just basically, does he have the card? Yes. Can I play around it? No. Let's hope he doesn't have it. Let's, let's see if we're going to see some more positive attitude from you this weekend. Uh, so far, I'm not 100% convinced. My last question for you, of course. Uh, are we going to see you in Utrecht? What? In, in Utrecht. We're going to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be there. I uh, will also attend uh, London and Milan. Okay. So they're all already booked. Okay. So we're going to see you a few more times. It's really easy to go to for me because yeah, it's the other country. It's like two hours drive maximum. All right. Well, thank you so much and whatever happens, best of luck this weekend. <laughs>